you know, in retrospect, this probably should have been my first video, uh, so you could have gotten to know me, but, you know, I decided to show you what I liked in August instead. Trina and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing 25 facts about me just so you can get to know me. So we're going to kind of speed round through these different random facts that I found online that I thought I could kind of divulge in and if I have anything to say about them I will elaborate. So first things first, full name. My name is Trina Tsai. I don't have a middle name. My mom never gave me one and uh, another option that it could have been would have been my Chinese name, which is Jia Ting. Second, my zodiac sign. I am a Capricorn, so leading into that would be my birth date. My birthday is January 16th, which makes me a Capricorn. Am I into astrology? Not really. I think a lot of those things are coincidental and, you know, just happens to be Oh, this person is a Gemini. I don't get along with them. I truly don't believe in that. Three. Three fears. Um, I am an extremely fearful person. Um, well, depending on what it is. So I grew up being afraid of the dark. So I only recently, just during this quarantine, watched all of the Harry Potter series. Um, I still looked away at certain parts, but um, I've always been really scared of special effects, the dark, anything Halloween. Even in the eighth grade, I was uh, forcibly by my friends uh, going to Not Scary Farm. I stayed in a gift shop for an hour and a half and cried because I was just so horrified. And anything related to death or anything scary like that is just not for me. Um, but, you know, on the flip side, things like um, goriness, like Django, anything like uh, Kill Bill, I'm totally fine with. Number four, pets. Do I have any pets? I have two cats. Now, a lot of people ask me, are you a dog person or a cat person? I am actually a dog person, but because my parents won't allow me to have a dog, what's funny is when they were when I was a kid, I really wanted a dog and they would buy me dog encyclopedias. So to this day, any purebred dog I see, I usually can name it off the top of my head because I've memorized the dog encyclopedia. But going back to my cats, I have two tabby cats. They're sisters. They just turned eight years old and they are the sweetest little cats ever. Fun fact, I used to hate cats before I got my own, but the reason we got them um, eight years ago was because we had rats in the house. And so we needed a solution that was, you know, not too poisonous and not too bad for our health. So we decided to get two cats. They were sisters. We adopted them together and they were about seven months old when we got them. They've been the greatest ever since. They are so cuddly, so sweet. Yes, they are cats, but they also act like dogs. They call when they're cummed. One of them plays fetch. The other one sits on command to get a treat. They're very food motivated, just like we are. I best friends. So I have a lot of best friends, but I would say my number one ride or die, and I'm sure you've seen her in my past vlogs, and you'll probably see her very, very often in the future, especially because we're going to be traveling for her birthday, is Catherine. So Catherine and I have known each other for just about 20 years this year, so it'll be our 20th anniversary. I've known her almost my entire life. We went to Chinese school every Saturday as children together, and we live about seven minutes apart. So it's been really nice growing up with someone that really knows you in and out, has seen you grow up, and I'm very, very lucky to have her, and she's definitely going to be my bridesmaid, and I know she's watching right now. Six, height. I am five three and three quarters, and I tell people I'm 5'4". Um, when I was younger, my doctor told me that I was going to be 5'7". I don't know where that number came from. My mom is 5'2", and my dad is 5'10". So, I mean, maybe if I was completely healthy growing up, I could possibly be 5'7", but I ended up growing this way instead. So, <laughs> brings us into our next fact is weight. Now, this can be a touchy subject for quite a few people. I am half ashamed, half proud of my weight. Um, I am currently 170 pounds. I am a little bit heavier than I normally am because of this past month I have been eating not the greatest, but um, fun fact is I used to be two, over 200 pounds. So in high school, 
and growing up I've just been overweight and I would attribute that to mainly my bad eating habits. Um, I, did, I was a quite active kid. I was in cheerleading, I did swimming, I did all kinds of sports growing up, but you know, my love of food just really trumped all of that and I really had no self-control over myself. And so going into college, I did drop down to about 185 and then the lightest I was, was about three years ago, was 147. At that point, I was eating incredibly healthy. However, there was really no sense of enjoyment and, um, you know, I needed to find a healthy balance. So in the past year, I did also, you know, have a relationship and that did cause me to gain weight because we were eating out all the time. And I did lose about 10 pounds after the relationship um, was over, but now I am just, it's September, it's just starting. So I am back on that healthy eating track letting myself divul or indulge in those yummy foods every once in a while, but it's definitely not something I should allow myself to have every day. Eight, birthday. I already mentioned that I it is January 16th. Nine, eye color. My natural eye color is going to be a medium to light honey brown, but I actually wear color contacts. Um, ever since I was little, I've always loved the look of light eyes. And so once I hit about middle school, when I saw that there was the option to have color contacts, because I normally do wear glasses, my <laughs> prescriptions like five or 5.25. So my vision is absolutely terrible. But um, when I was younger, I would wear like green and gray and blue and purple and all these different color contacts just to you know see what I liked and now that I'm older I know exactly what I get so I usually get a year supply of fresh look contacts sterling gray color so if you look at it it looks like I have like grayish bluish eyes um one important thing if you want to get color contacts do not buy blue blue looks like the most obnoxious color it looks so fake and if you want something that looks a little more realistic get gray which doesn't sound typical but it actually looks more natural 10 my current relationship status um as i previously mentioned i was in a relationship up until february uh however now my relationship status is single and honestly i'm kind of down with it i am taking this time to improve upon myself and i actually just deleted all of my dating apps the other day um just because I felt I was spending a lot of time on it and swiping left and right because I was bored. And especially with COVID times now, we shouldn't really be meeting in person. And so I figured I would rather take this time to spend time focusing on myself and bettering myself. That way I know that I'm 100%. Well, I'm never going to be 100%, but I will be a little bit closer to fully loving myself before I love someone else. 11. Have I ever been in love? Now, my previous relationship was my first and my only and my longest relationship. Um, we were together for about 13 months and I would say it was my first exposure of what love could be like. Um, to be completely honest, I don't know whether or not it was truly love. It was my first relationship. Um, I would say it is what I think love would be like, but I think love can also be so much more. 12. Country I live in. So I live in Los Angeles, California, United States of America. 13. Number of siblings. I have one older brother. He is three years older than me. He is 28 years old and also still lives at home just like me. <laughs> yeah, he he's a character. Um, you might see him here and there in the vlogs, but he really doesn't want to be on camera. But um, we've definitely had a rocky relationship growing up and now that we're both a little bit older and more mature, it's definitely gotten much, much better. 14. Talents. Uh, I don't want to sound like I'm tooting my own horn, but I would say things that I believe I am better than average at. Um, so I've been dancing, um, hip hop and heels and some a little bit of jazz and lyrical here and there um, for the last, I would say, five years. I did dabble here and there when I was growing up, but not truly committed to it. Um, I also do sing a little bit. Um, I've sung for choir when I was like in high school and also younger than that. 
Um, I, I, you know, do the occasional shower concert, but um, I've sung the national anthem for my basketball game in high school. Um, and yeah, so if you want a singing video, let me know. I am a little more insecure about that, but it's something I am working on. 15 favorite color. As you can't tell, it's pink. I do like a good baby pink, blush pink. Um, I really do like any color, like white is, I know it's technically not a color, but I love a lot of white things. It's just such a clean look. Um, also a lot of like teal and, you know, pastel colors are a huge hit for me. 16, who makes up my family? So when it comes to my household itself, it's myself, my brother, my mother, my father, and my grandmother on my mother's side. So my grandma from my mom's side has lived with us ever since I was born. She came over here to help take care of me. And um, I've been very fortunate to have a lot of family live close by to me growing up. So actually my father's side, his older brother and older sister have also lived in the same city as us growing up. So I've been fortunate to have my cousins grow up and go to the same high school as me. And it's been really nice. Like if I ever needed a ride somewhere, I could just call my aunties and be like, hey, can you, can you give me a ride somewhere? And if they're not busy, it was always just so nice to have family nearby growing up. 17 favorite food who like I said before you know there's a reason I was over 200 pounds so there are so many foods that I love um I guess I would say in terms of cuisines I really do like Japanese food and I like Mediterranean food and Italian food your girl loves some carbs, so, you know, pasta is kind of hard to turn away. Um, but definitely I can give you guys some recipes for some healthier alternatives to pastas. 18. Bucket list places to go to. So, two places I would really, really love to go to, and they are on my bucket list. They are quite similar, would be Bora Bora and the Maldives. I know that it, they are two places that a lot of people do want to go to and it's a very big tourist hotspot but you know just the beautiful clear blue waters and the little cabanas it's just it's a vibe you know i really just want to go there 19 my favorite place i have ever traveled to so i would say my favorite place i've ever traveled to is mykonos greece now mykonos i is gotten a little bit more touristy um as the years have gone by but um, I would say that Santorini has been a little more popular. I have been to both. I would say that because Santorini is so overhyped and overcrowded, you know, there's just so many tourists there. And the, the thing that they advertise the most is those beautiful blue domes. Now those blue domes are Greek Orthodox churches. And in reality, there's really not that many of them. They always have the same shot of the same, probably three or four of them in the entire city. And once you get there, you're like, that's it. That, that There's only like three of them. Now it's still beautiful. The sunset is still stunning, but I felt like with Mykonos, it was a little more towny vibe, not too touristy. And it was just so beautiful. I felt like there was a little more of that blue and white kind of um color scheme and it just looked so beautiful and the food was so great too the street food i had the greatest little euros pita and definitely check out my uh grease trip videos 20 hair color so my hair is like a medium to dark brown um i've always been asked growing up if i dyed my hair i have not this is my natural color um in the sunlight it is a little bit lighter but I've been very fortunate to have a nice natural color and I have dyed my hair before, but by now it's already all cut off and gone. It's been years since then. So um, I've considered dyeing my hair a little bit lighter, but every time someone's like, oh, I love your hair color, it makes me <laughs> stop my decision to change it because I'm fortunate to have it naturally. So why would I want to change it? 21, favorite alcoholic beverage. Fun fact, I do not drink, or I drink very, very minimally. Um, growing up, I've never been a fan of alcohol. The taste of it is just so bitter, so just ugh, did not taste good to me. And I just was not a fan of it. I've tried to drink. Um, I'll show you guys a clip of me taking my first shot. I 
at some point. It is, it's not cute. And I don't really get buzzed or drunk. Um, I've ever only taken one shot and I haven't really had enough alcohol to see how I am with it. But from what I've experienced, I don't get buzzed. I don't get drunk. I just get hung over immediately. I do get a headache very quickly. My whole body turns red. Asians are known to be intolerant to alcohol. And for me, I've just never had a good experience with it. So I rarely dabble in it. But if I were to have one, it would be the minimal amount of alcohol in a mojito. 22, sexual orientation, I am heterosexual. 23, tattoos and piercings. I do not have any tattoos, as cool as I think one would be, I hate needles. I don't even like getting a flu shot, so more or less I'd rather definitely not sit there and have my arm out or whatever out for an extended period of time getting a tattoo. Piercings, I have a single piercing here as well as a double one right here. It's underneath this earring. So I have two here and two on the other side. Um, fun fact, I was not allowed to get my ears pierced until I was 17. It was supposed to be 18 and I managed to convince my mom to let me get them when I was 17. Um, it was something that she said I needed responsibility for, which honestly, I don't believe you do. It's just at the very beginning, you have to clean it every once in a while, but it's not something that requires a whole lot of responsibility. 24, insecurities. So going back to the whole, I used to weigh 200 pounds thing, my body and my body type is something I'm definitely very insecure about. Um, I know that body positivity is huge right now and in general it should be. Um, I am, I do love myself, but I also don't believe that this is the best version of myself. And I would, you know, I am working very hard to go to the gym every day, sometimes twice a day to be the healthiest person I can be. And I think that's going to, you know, make me truly love myself. And I know it, it should be internally as well, but you know, just growing up and having all these self-esteem issues, a lot of it does stem from my physical appearance. And so insecurities, is, I hope it's something I can get over. Last but not least, do I believe in ghosts? Uh, I do believe in ghosts, however, I am a very much, you know, if I don't act like you're there, hopefully you won't be. I actually worked on the Queen Mary, which is one of the most haunted spots in LA, for eight months. And while I had co co-workers who had experiences with ghosts on the Queen Mary, I fortunately did not. My belief towards that is if you go out and seek them, they will show themselves to you, reveal themselves to you, and prove that they're there. Me, I'm like, I believe that you're there. I just don't want to see you. I don't want to be freaked out. You know, I can barely watch a scary movie as it is, and I don't care if you're friendly or not. I don't want to see you. So I am a very avid, like, if I see that, like, someone has died somewhere or something's haunted, I want nothing to do with it. Absolutely nothing. Well, that is 25 facts about me. Um, if you have anything else you want to know about me that I can do in a future Q&A, you know, just let me know. I can do that for a future video. For the meantime, I thought since I am just starting my channel, this would be a great way for you to get to know me and a little bit of more about who I am and what I'm about. So definitely hit subscribe if you want to know more and I'll see you in the next one.